everyone and welcome back to my sims so yeah i couldn't decide there were no votes so i was like okay i have to pick something but i could not figure out what to pick so i actually just threw everything into one of the like random wheel spinners and the wheel has chosen my sims so that's what we're gonna do uh, this one I forgot that I made my own town. There we are. Got my cute little house. Okay, what are we working on? Um, for Sir Vincent. Okay, we need dead wood. So we need... What's that? The... Why can't I math today? That's what, 12 pieces? Okay, let's see. Sp uh, there it is. I was like, spooky is kind of towards like the middle. I have exactly 12. But I feel like I need more. Okay, here we go. Okay. You know what, you've lived a long life, but... Gotta wait for the fertilizer to go away. And we'll water these while we're waiting. Oh no! I'm gonna kill a tree in front of Poppy! Okay, just walk right through my watering can. Jeez. She did not care at all. Okay, and... <gasps> Dead tree! Okay, and now we chop it down. Sweet. Stop that. And then we replant the tree because we are not monsters. And we water it and we take care of it. Later on, there are some very, very weird plants that we can get. And I love filling in all of the... Um, all of the little spots for plants. Okay. <laughs> Poppy's just happy. She's just so happy that she's just like, Oh, look! Happy essence! Okay. So let's work on... Okay. Just a basic desk. I don't want that one. There we go. This is like one of the most basic of basic blueprints, but later on we'll get an ornate desk that we can make, but gotta start somewhere. Okay, and this one needs seven? Yep. So, I think I kind of like that one better for the desk. And then, I think there is something wrong with my mouse because it's double clicking a lot more often and it's just being a general pain. I think that's nice for Vincent. Cool. So we have a desk and now to make a chair. Work on task. Uh, do I want to? I might as well make the ornate chair. It just takes forever. I can't be bothered to come back to different menus later. Or actually it might just stay on the same menu. I was just, you know, not wanting to deal with anything. Ah, right, well, it's fine. Doo -doo -doo. I remember when I was a kid, the first time I ever played this game, it was actually on the Wii. 
and it's really, really hard to build things with this system on the Wii. So I remember I was just struggling. I was like, what? Oh, gosh. I was like, why am I not getting this? Because it takes a lot of coordination. Okay, come. That one just did not want to snap to its spot. Okay, and two of these. One of those. dogs are barking like crazy. Ugh. I don't know what their deal is. Okay, let's match the desk at least a little bit. Come on, the dark one up there. And, you know, we have extra, so we might as well get a little creative. Okay, and then for the rest of them, we're just going beige. Because I don't want to waste too much of my resource. If my dogs don't give it a rest, I'm going to have to go bring them in. Actually, I should probably just bring them in anyway, because I was complaining that my neighbor does that. Ugh. To the game even even my little sim is just like what I want to be able to leave them outside but my neighbor's dogs like antagonize them so that's what happened my neighbor's dogs were barking so then my dog started barking at them and I'm like oh my gosh and I don't stand for that crap mm. I didn't to talk to him oh yeah huh? I totally forgot about DJ candy oops Oh, this is classic Sims music. Oh, takes me back. Um, I don't want this. I think this music was actually in like The Sims 2. <laughs> I think that might actually be sticking out from the wall. Eh, it's fine. Just a little bit. Oh, that like sticks out like a sore thumb. Oops. Uh, he has unearthed a desk blueprint in one of his recent excavations. It is now mine. See, and it didn't look so strange in the workshop, but then again, he he craves spooky essence. Oh, he's fuming. The Zarka. You can work. Ah. <laughs> Curses. The movers say they lost my spooky sarcophagus. That was my favorite exhibit. Horrible. Okay, so we need 20 spooky essences, which I don't think we've gotten before. 
<laughs> but I know that you can get spooky essence from being nice to him and from being nice to Violet. We are just going to be so nice that he's going to give us everything we need. It's working! Come on! <laughs> I was like, I don't think there's a limit. Patrick, why are you eating? <laughs> He's just eating in this man's office. <laughs> so close! I think we need like two more interactions. Three more interactions. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, that candy. That's not acceptable. You should not be jumping on other people's furniture. Okay, that's exactly twenty. But let's try to get a little bit more, just in case. Oh. Oh. <laughs> candy. Candy is not really nice. She just like stomped on Patrick's foot. Okay, well. Let's go out. Do I even have enough stone? Oh, wrong one. Stone is under the like education one. What is it even called? Studious. Yep, there it is. We have two. That isn't enough. Okay, let's go here and prospect. Dig! <laughs> got some purple crayons. Sometimes it will take like hours of digging to be able to find enough of the essence that you need. I know that I've done that with purple crayons before. And then there's one specific essence called organic that is one of my absolute favorite colors because it's like a pale green. But that is a prospecting one and it takes for Ever. Okay, we have some stone, a little bit of stone. So, if anybody is here from this morning's live stream, I ended up making not one, not two, not even three, but four batches of frosting. Because my mom needs to frost like 50 <laughs> cupcakes and she was just like, oh, okay. She's like, uh, can you just make enough frosting to cover them? I'm like, okay, A, I don't know how much frosting you want to put on each no! cupcake. Um, like, there are so many things I wasn't sure about. And then she wanted two different flavors and it's a, it's a rather odd recipe that's stabilized with this... <laughs> flour milk paste mixture but that needs to be at room temperature before you can put it into the frosting well I didn't think that far so I started whipping the butter and the sugar and everything and then I was like oh this is still really warm so then I devised a strategy in later batches for like an ice bath and then I was always one flour milk mixture ahead so one was cooled by the time I was mixing the frosting. No! But it still took me almost two hours to make all that frosting. I feel so tired and I hardly did anything. And then I had to go and like clean up all the dishes and yeah, it was this morning was just just chaos. And I told my mom, I was like, I feel a little bit like a mad scientist. Because I had like all these different stations and I was like, okay, okay, this is how this is going to work. She just laughed. 
but she's like have I told you thank you lately it was like not today so she's like thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you I was like okay okay it's like you're very welcome for the copious amounts of frosting okay so this needs like 30 yeah 30 different essences so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve this is where you have to improvise okay so Segments here. Oh, I forgot those. I couldn't even see them. There might actually be a. Oh, there's blocks on the side too. Oh, I just didn't see a darn thing. Okay, so. Just gotta, gotta improvise a little bit. Leave that there, I guess. And this is where you just have fun with it, because, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Improvising. And then we will just rinse and repeat and do the same thing. It does make it look kind of cool, though. Okay. Not quite. Okay. So, in between here, I think there was about that much of a gap. And then we just restack. Look at that! See? Perfect! Okay, so now... Stack... So long as everything lines up, the game doesn't really care. Because there's these little... You'll see it right here. There are these little, like, sparkly bits. And notice how the front's gone? When you line up something with every bit... There we go. So now it is fully accessorized. Okay, there we go. And then... There we go. Was there an easier way to do that? Definitely. Did I do it? No, I did not. Okie dokie. And now we paint it. So we need 20 spooky essence. I love the dark purple. I don't know. I think I just kind of want to do... Yeah, dark purple for all of that, and then we can do some of this green accent color. That's pretty cool. Okay, and we need eight more, so let's do one, two, three, four. We'll do these little ones. Okay, so that should be enough. I think I went a little overboard on the extra pieces, but it's okay. Mm. Might as well go with actual, like, stone. I definitely like the stone better. So we finished that. 
Actually, you know what? I have a bit of dead wood left. Okay, I have exactly the right amount. But I want this dark color. Look at that. Look at that spooky bad boy. I like it. And it's nighttime. I think he's one of the ones that has like an extra little mission for us. Because after you're finished with the museum, I think he asks for a bed. That makes a creepy noise. Okay, he's not here yet. There he is. You'll notice that there's like little parts that look like they're meant for these pieces. So it's like that right there was like perfect for it. Uh, brilliant. I can't tell it from the original and neither will my patrons. So we have finished the museum. Sir Vincent has given you an Aztec statue decorative. He's not quite sure where the inspected by number 14 sticker came from. <laughs> <laughs> that evil little giggle. <gasps> Ooh! So we have leveled up. Oh, and we can use the saw. So we can access a new area. Okay, he's all excited. And see, now he needs a bed. But since it didn't zoom in, it's not like an official one. He needs a bed. Can I get one for him? Yes, but I need more spooky essence. Hi, Violet. <laughs> Violet's fun. I like her. And she's not mean to her little sister, which I appreciate. What are you doing, Violet? Oh, she's just sitting in the chair. Okay, well. So I want to get done with his bed, and then we'll go see Violet. Oh, not Violet. Uh, DJ Candy. I was thinking of DJ Candy in my head, but... Okay, and see, it wasn't... It also wasn't a task, so this is just a... This is just a basic thing. So I'm doing a regular bed. You know, it amazes me how many of them like don't have beds because I think Poppy asked for a bed too. Yay, there we go. Get some spookiness. You know what, he can have bats on his bed because that's pretty cool. Okay, that actually looks pretty cool. Okay, we'll do purple there and ah, green there. That is most definitely a bed fit for Vincent. He, he even has a little something watching over him. Hi, Violet. Okay, enter. sleeping on his bench. Wake up, Vincent! I come bearing gifts. Oh yeah, that is like OG Sims 2 music. I don't know where I want this, because I kind of just want it here, but that just feels a little weird. You know, it's fine. Although, I think this needs to... There we go. I had to just scoot it up a little bit because it was sticking out way too far into the room. He was like, I finally have a place to sleep. Tula Bayosa? 
Uh, there's always room in the Skullfinder Museum for spooky exhibits. I may even add a spooky gift shop. So he is done. He's not going to ask us for anything else. Onward to DJ Candy, who's got a completely different style. Okay, but we did unlock the saw, which means we can get into this area. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Mm, I, uh, do I go? Do I go tour it? I kind of want to, but I kind of don't want to. Let's go see what Candy wants first. How many more spots do we have left in town? Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five more spots in town. Although since DJ Candy's here, I want to go see if somebody else is in the hotel. I know Buddy's in there and I, I do want to say hi to him. <sighs> Hmm. There he is. I was like, why am I glitching? Uh, hey pal, guess what? You've done a good job uh, setting up these great businesses that more people want to move into Simtown. Townies will start appearing in the hotel now. Townies will want you to build them a house and decorate it in their favorite style. You'll meet spooky townies, geeky townies, and others. Townies available. Moving ta moving in townies gives you points towards the next star level. Also, if you give them lots of stuff in their style, they can become best friends and give you special rewards. I never, I never go for the townies. <laughs> Congratulations, your improvements to the town have been so great that the train, <gasps> oh, the train has reserved, resumed service between Simtown and the gardens. Head over to the train station and use the ticket machine and uh, to start your journey. If you don't know where the train station is. Yeah, use your map to help you. <laughs> yeah, I see. I just I don't like townies. I like the businesses. <gasps> oh, I love her. I don't even remember her. Uh, Roxy. Yeah, Roxy Road. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, Roxy. Uh, oh, hi. I'm Roxy. I'm thinking, wouldn't this be a great town for an ice cream shop? I love ice cream and hand sanitizer, of course. You know what? I want to move you in. Uh, sure. That sounds cool. I really want to have an ice cream shop, though. Can you build me one? Uh, yes. I love her. Yeah, the townies just... I feel like maybe if you're, like, in the end game, because you don't even actually have enough spaces to put all the businesses before, like, you run out of space. There's still more people that you can put in. And so I'm like, if I'm going to use my valuable space on people, I, I want it to be the businesses and stuff because I like their missions. And it's just more fun. Uh, I usually go and put Roxy right here because Patrick loves food. So, since Patrick's a foodie, I think that he would love living right next door to a ice cream shop. Okay, this only comes in two sizes. That's okay. Yep. Just big and small. <laughs> I can make it a cone! I've never actually tried to make this one two-story. I don't know if I like that. Okay, let's get it like decorated and stuff and then we'll be able to like see how it's going. Okay, maybe with a smaller roof. Remember, windows. Everywhere, windows. Oh, there's like... There's a little bee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute! 
Okay, I love that. Although, I'm going to have to move it to one side or the other, because I think that the sidewalk is, like, off-center. So we'll have to see, because I will move it. Dad. Dad. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> remodel! Remodel now! Centered? Close enough! I love her so much. She's just so cute! I love bees, so that- look at this! Look at this cuteness! Hi, Roxy! <laughs> My very own ice cream shop! This is so cool! It's frozen! Yay! <laughs> Okay, so she wants... So she actually, I need to be able to get into the next area for her. Because I think that's where the gingerbread men are. Uh, so she needs a freezer for her ice cream. <laughs> Buddies. Okay, but technically she wasn't here first, so I can't work on her stuff first. I have to go talk to DJ Candy first. Or else I would feel awful. Because... <laughs> And DJ was here first, so let's go find her. Okay, here is... Ah, I messed up, I messed up. <laughs> having, having to get through the ropes when my character's moving so fast is really difficult. Okay, where... You have a bed, you weirdo! I don't understand why she's sleeping on the couch. Okay. Uh, hey, you outdid yourself with club candy. I had gotten used to spinning in warehouses. There we go. I was like, uh, you need something. I know you do. How am I going to play my music when I'm just kicking back after a long night? You know, I could really use a stereo. Okay, so she needs... Horrible. How many happy essences do we have? And if I'm not mistaken, I think she might actually give us a different type of essence. Yep, she she gives the, the eight ball. Ah, dang it. We'll try it one more time. Nope, okay. Um, where's Poppy? Poppy <laughs> Poppy is always happy. Poppy will randomly give happy essence if you're just standing there. Okay. And also we can go take a look at the garden because I absolutely love the garden. Poppy, I need you. Okay, come on. There we go. Are you home, Pa? Oh, there she is. Poppy, why do you look so sad? Oh, because he blurred. <laughs> he knew go. Look at that. Bazi D. Navoka D? Uh, I'm so glad to be in town now that you're here, Rose. She's so cute. Okay, be nice a couple Nupa more times. Shuga. Or at least once. Good job. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So now we are going to exit. And I do want to see the gardens because that was actually like my favorite part when I was a kid. Okay, so let's go to the train station. So there's your online garden. A friend's garden and your garden alone. Normally I go alone because I don't know if the online function actually works anymore. Probably not. I mean, it's an old game, so. Okay. So this place is actually like massive. But there's a pinwheel tree. 
And there are a ton of empty spaces here, but you can't move anybody here. Uh, this one's ravens. Yeah, all sorts of different trees now. Mm. There's a fishing spot here. There's a little, like, little amphitheater thing. Uh, prospecting over here. There are some unique things. I think there's like blue freezer bunnies. And then when you come over here, there's like this, I'm assuming what used to be a fountain here. There's a workshop. So you can come here and you can build whatever the heck you want. So many more spaces. Uh, planters. Uh, these ones are interesting. So you don't water these, you oil them. And this... I think they call it a puzzle cube. Yeah. Cube puzzle. What are you? I think this one's a banana tree? If I'm not mistaken. Yep. It's amazing the things that your brain just like holds on to. <laughs> There should be... Okay, so this one's also a banana. This one is... Should be textbooks? Woohoo! Yep. A textbook tree. I'm sure every college student would love to have one of those. And then there's more. Normally I set up my house right here and I just like to have like a super over the top like extravagant house here just because I can for no other reason. <laughs> this one's a kitten bush. Yeah, and so pretty much each essence has just the four colors and then um, so like the cats are pink, but their their patterns are kind of cute. There's a little gazebo up here. There's another textbook tree. What is over here? Okay, up the stairs, down the stairs. So there's another building up here. At one point when I was a kid, I tried to make one house for each of the essences. It's so like every house would have a different style. I never really got that far because I never had that much patience, but yeah. And then you can actually turn you can turn the lights on and off. But that's what is in the garden. And then when you go into this workshop, it's exactly the same as the other one. Like it doesn't change the interface or anything. Work on task. Uh, teach you candy. Yeah, see, looks exactly the same. Okay, so this one wants nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need two extra. Okay, and then we're just going to do a simple double stack up here. So that should give us nine. The entire front is covered, so really it's only the back that you have to worry about. Happy. I think she likes the balloons, because that's what her couch was. We will do that in yellow. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and then since I don't have enough essence to do Roxy's, I'm just going to go home, drop off Candy's thing, find out her next quest. Do you want to save your garden? Yes, save the garden. Save a success.
Sorry, I had to shoot my mom a text. That didn't even, oh my gosh, come on. Send button. Okay. So DJ Candy is like right here. You know, there's so much more space for plots and it always kind of made me mad when I was a kid. Like I'd fill up the entire, like each area and then I'd get so mad. I'm like, well, why can't I have more space? It, it, it always bugged me. Cause then I had, well, I had a townie that I actually really liked, but then a new business came in and I was like, well crap, now I have to go and move out with the, I have to move out my townie. I was really upset cause I liked her. Okay. Yes, cause let's put it on top of the table. Um, this one is just for her though. So I'm just gonna stick it like right there. Just like it belongs there. <laughs> so sweet! DJ Candy just isn't herself without some music playing. DJ Candy has given you a couch. Oh gosh, I remember this couch. <laughs> I hate this couch. I use it for her though because it, it fits her personality. See, I love how she like, she gives me the blueprint and then she's like, I need a couch. He's going through her dresser, and so is the mayor. Mm, so, ah, oh, gosh, clownfish. We definitely have enough eight balls, but we need clownfish, and I hate the fishing ones. I think it's just, it's been a trend since I was a kid that I hate fishing mini games. And you will understand why I don't overly care for this one when I actually do it. Where is my fishing spot? Here it is. Fish. You can fish for essence in this area. When you see bubbles rising to the surface, you found a fish. Position your bobber over the bubbles and click and hold the left mouse button to set the hook. Yank your mouse, uh, yank back on your mouse to pull up your catch. Like, the, the bubbles actually don't last very long. I think it also doesn't help that when I was a kid, I didn't really, like, I didn't have a good mouse. And at one point, I didn't even have a mouse. I was just using the touchpad on my computer. And oh my gosh. This is much easier. I actually had a, like a miniature mouse that I was using at one point, and it this was a pain in the butt. I still have that mini mouse, and I should take a picture of it and put it on my Discord. Like this is what I was working with. The amount of finger cramps that I got from having to hold the tiny, tiny little mouse. Is my top? Barking in the garage? <laughs> yeah, Atlas is losing his mind. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay, stay here, watch the bubbles for a second. I'm not gonna bother to go put it on the pause screen. I'm just gonna go tell him to stop. By the time I got to the garage, all four of them were barking at each other, and it is because Atlas set them off, because Atlas is fat, and if the other dogs haven't finished their food, and he has, and he hears them eating, he gets mad because he assumes that I have given them extra food. Even though it's from the same meal as him, just they didn't eat all theirs. 
So then he just, he will sit there and he will bark non-stop. And he's a pit bull, so he has a loud bark. Obviously, if I could hear it across the house in the garage. But he will bark and bark and bark incessantly because he is so angry that they have extra food and he does not. I'm like, Atlas, no. He especially does it with his sister, Rom. He's, he's just, he really has it out for her if she has something that he doesn't. I'm like, there's, there's three others that you could be picking fights with and you just have to pick a fight with the other big one. Okay, so we should have plenty. And then, yeah, we definitely have enough eight balls, so it's fine. Work on task. You'll see just why I hate this couch. Look at it! It looks, <laughs> it looks awful! Like, this just, ugh. And then I hated having to put all the circles when I was a kid. I'm like, I got so annoyed having to sit here and go back and forth and back and forth. I think this is definitely, I had more of a problem with it when it was like the Wii version because trying to get these lined up was just the worst pain in the butt. It went by speedy now that I'm on a computer that actually, like, runs decently. Okay, so let's... She wants clownfish. Oh, those are... <laughs> These colors are awful! Okay, um... I think we'll do that. And then she wants the eight balls. We have 48 of those. You know what? We can, we can fill in the rest of it. It's like we need to have something a little, a little gimmicky. No, you know what? That's good. That's good. And then just so that we're not completely wasting resource, we will just beige the legs. It's fine. Nobody notices the legs on a couch anyway. Let me know, though, in the comments if somebody is a person who notices the colors of the legs of a couch. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, let's... and a coffee table. Or a small ta This is a... definitely a small table. Just super basic. Four legs and a top. I have a table that kind of looks like this, and it used to be in our living room, but when we went to Ikea, we ended up getting new, um, some new shelving, and so we had to move, like, everything, which included the little table, and I commandeered it, and my husband was like, uh, babe? He's like, what? He's like, where's the table? I was like, um, it's mine now? <laughs> He's like, well, what if I wanted to use it? I was like, where are you going to put it? Because I have a three-bedroom house, and one is the, like, one is our actual bedroom. One is my office slash library, and then he collects model Mustangs. So his Mustangs are in one room, and when we first moved in, he wanted the big room. He's like, I need the bigger room because I have a lot of Mustangs and stuff. I was like, uh, yeah, but I actually use my room. I was like, it's, you know, a combination library and office and crafting room. I was like, I feel like that outweighs the need for model Mustang shelving. He's like, well, that's not fair. I'm like, uh, it's totally fair. It's like, if I'm going to be using my room every day, I don't want the tiny room. So, I have the big room. <laughs> Long story short, he has absolutely no room in his room for anything. So, yeah, the tiny table's next to my Ikea chair. Uh, when you're not dancing, you should always be sitting on a comfy couch. Thanks a lot. This is great. That couch does not look comfortable at all. There, There's holes in it. DJ Candy says it's bath time. She gave me a new bathtub blueprint to make it happen. Okay. You tried to say something, DJ? She's 
she's she's going crazy. She's like, I have a need. I have a need of something. What do you need now? Hmm. Right, trying to get an angle on her is just. You can blur. Um. Okay, so she wants some turntables. Okay, we need fourteen clownfish. <laughs> <laughs> Violet's just like in with everything. She was at the museum. I don't know if she went to the restaurant. All I know is now I have to go fishing again. So let's go do that. And then I really need to work on Roxy stuff because I I will, after I finish DJ, I will move somebody else in, but then I will be working on finishing Roxy stuff. I still want extra clownfish, just in case. And when they said, like, pull back on your mouse, it doesn't actually work that good to just pull straight back. So if you latch on and then just kind of shake your mouse a little bit side to side, that is the best way. Also, it seems to be the essences that you usually need the most, like, you know, clownfish, that don't appear as often, because we've gotten how many trout? <laughs> and then I think each, like, each area for fishing only has three different essences. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. Okay, work on task, DJ. Okay, how many things do we need? We need 20. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh gosh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. I think I figured this one out. So we'll just do big block, big block, and then we'll just cut this one. Come on. Work with me. Okay, and now. Let's see, and we unlocked some new blocks too. And by unlocking new blocks, you just end up getting like more customizable stuff. Okay, um, there we go. And sometimes you have to remove blocks to actually be able to like get to something that you need to paint. So don't be afraid if you have to start pulling your project apart after you've put it together. Because you know it happens. Okay, so now we need 14 clownfish, which is just, like, I don't know, I just, I find that to be, like, an awful color. I'd rather go with the bright, like, blinding red. Okay, and what was the other one? The eight ball? We need, like, six of them. See, but this feels a little just, like, one-dimensional, so... That's- see, that's kind of cool. I do kind of like that. But that is only... no, that's six. Yeah, okay, so the rest- the rest is clownfish. So... Okay, I will do a little bit of the clownfish flare. Do some accent blue. There we go. It'll work. It's good. Okay, and I think that was all for her order this time. Ah, look at her! <laughs> She's balancing ice cream in the fountain. Multi-talented! 
And then she just drops the ice cream right into the water. A little gross, but you know, uh, it, it, uh, it is what it is. As far as I can tell, there's no rules in the town. Okay. Oh, she's sleeping. Not for long! Okay. Turntables. I think there's something bigger later. If so, we'll move that. Oh no, we're finished! <laughs> you did it! Tonight, Club Candy's- Alright, yes. Club Candy's grand opening. Thanks, Rose. This DJ's good to go. She's giving me a disco ball decorative. Okay, and then always, always, always ask them if they want something else after. I'm in it for full points. Ah! <laughs> yo, yo, we gotta deck this place out in super groove style. I'm talking fun all the way. This is why if I boot anybody out, it's usually her. Uh, did you know that I make my all my own glow sticks? Uh, chemiluminescence rocks. Okay, um, I actually want to... She's already got a disco ball. I thought it was like one of the like shiny ones. Nope, it's just some weird wall one, but... You know, we'll put another one. Can never have too many disco balls, I guess. There we go. That'll, that'll do. Okay. So she's done. So I guess we get to go to the next area and go hunt down some gingerbread. Okay, so... Actually, let me check the hotel first and then I'll go. Just because I'm right here. Some of the townies are kind of cool, but most of them are just... Okay, so... Buddy! <laughs> Buddy, you're in the way! <sighs> yeah, I can't, I can't... I can't do anything with Buddy in the way. Okay, so he's a townie. That guy in there's a townie. This guy in here... He is a business owner. Gorplath means greetings on my favorite sci-fi show. I'll live in your town, but only if you build me an arcade. Will you accept this epic quest? Fine. Only because you're the next one. Dude, really? You're gonna build an ar uh, build the arcade? Sweet, I'll wait here. He's not one of my favorites. I, I Usually he's one of the last ones that I move in. Okay, so... I don't like putting him in my main area because I feel like he ruins my aesthetic that I'm looking for. So normally I hide him away somewhere. So this area has more of like an eastern sort of feel. And it's really pretty in here. Okay, so we can we can break that. Okay, and then there are new trees and stuff, new bushes. If I remember how to get up there. Okay, so these I believe are purple blossoms. Yep. I do like the purple blossoms. So we'll stop that. Oh, plum blossom. I want to plant one of those in my town. And then... I, I don't think... No, I can't get over here because I need a pickaxe. And I think you get pickaxe at level 3. So this... You get the blowtorch at level four. 
This is also blocked off. There is fish in here. And you can carefully cross here. There's prospecting. This area is with blowtorch. Can't get there. So there's a spot here, a spot here, and a spot here. This is, that's a pickaxe spot. And then here you have more prospecting. This is where you get the organic essence that I'm absolutely in love with. But I believe the gingerbread comes from this prospecting spot over here. And also I'm going to stick him right here. Um, like debating, like how? Come on, oh. That's not what I intended. Is that my mother? No, it's my husband. Why can't I place that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are you being like this? Okay, that is being the most ridiculous pain in the butt. Was it really because it was- Oh, I guess you can't- because the block itself sticks out too far in the front. Okay, well, that makes sense, I guess. I kind of like this area. Well, I mean, I don't love the arcade, but it's fun. Okay, I don't want like weird, I don't want too many fins. Now he's got an arcade and now I can ignore him. There we go. Once I unlock the desert, I'll probably move him there just because I don't like him right there. But I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. I finished DJ Candy. I finished Vince, uh, Sir Vincent. Moved in Roxy. Moved in Vic. So I think this is good. But thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back on Monday with another episode of my Discord Member's Choice. So until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. And I hope to see you then. Bye! Mm -hmm.